I'm curious, what is your perspective on the bullies? When you start to think about, you know, the other side of this, you know, I think it's easy to kind of, you know, understand the experience that you had, you know, because you had it, you were in it. Um, but I'm wondering how you frame the kids that are on the other side of that, what your thoughts are of them or what you've come to know about people that are doing that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a really good question. And I say that because, and it's it's very timely. This month that, that we're talking right now, October, is National Bullying Prevention Month. Um, and so I've, I've been talking a lot about bullying in the media and in, in my own work and, and in my classes. And one of the things that I say is the reason why, the core reason why people bully is because they don't feel like they belong. Um, and it's either they don't belong to themselves or they don't belong to the, the world around them. So if, if I am someone who I'm told that being girly is, is a bad thing, and, and so whenever I feel like my, my, my feminine tendencies rise, I, I want to get rid of that. But you know, I can't do it within myself. So I find someone else out in the world who is like that. And then I bully them as a way to suppress that part of myself. Um, and so you know, they feel like they don't belong to themselves. So they find an, an outward projection of that thing. And then that's what they attack. And that helps them get temporary reprieve. But then, of course, it's going to come back up and then they'll, they'll repeat into the, the bullying process. Um, and you know, I, I thought a lot about this because I'll be honest with you. I was bullied for so long. And then I became a bully at some point because I was like, well, you know, this is just like chaotic. I don't belong. So let me join in on the bullying. And that's going to show other people like, oh, he's strong. He's powerful. And I mean, that whole conception of power being having manipulation over someone else or influence over them is really false and, and you know, messed up within our society. But, you know, I turned to bullying as a way to demonstrate the power that I had. And I had to learn like, that's not what power is. That's actually you just projecting your own insecurities out into the world and you're causing harm to another person. So, and, and it's funny because the, the martial arts is, is what taught me that. Because it was around the time that I started doing martial arts. That's when I started switching and started bullying other people. And I had to realize that power doesn't come from throwing a punch. Power comes from sitting, realizing the situation and helping someone else so you don't have to throw a punch. <laughs> 